What was your favorite uh, thing for day well, one? Well, believe it one. or not, the most simplest of things was my reintroduction to moving averages. Believe it or not. Right. All right, so I just got into the car, into the rental car, heading up to Orlando, Florida. Just saw Air Force One over here at the airport in West Palm Beach. Very excited for the first ever Steady Trader Mastermind workshop. It's gonna be awesome. So a lot of people have been asking me, why start shops, these in-person workshops, in you know, sort of small groups, which is what we're doing with these mastermind workshops. The very simple reason is this, online education, a lot of my courses, it's great stuff. It allows people to access that information anywhere, anytime, on demand. But there comes a point in time, and I've seen this with a lot of students, when they, they wanna meet up in person and take that knowledge level to new height. I thought about that for some time, and, and I realized that I think that's actually almost imperative to ultimately become really good at investing and trading. You need that in-person, you know, fairly intense two to three day type of environment in a classroom, go through everything in real time, look at the market in real time, we even put on trade. The online world is great, but there's still a lot to be said about actually physically meeting up with people. And on top of that, a lot of people, traders and investors, they, you know, they might have jobs where they're in an environment with people that are not necessarily into that. They might have a quote unquote normal job, whatever that means, that's not in the finance industry. So by meeting up with some of the people in our community, they get to meet other traders that are like-minded in that sense. And so that sense of community really comes together and and, uh, and it's wonderful. You know, people are going to uh, be able to spend a couple days with other traders in person, networking and possibly making lifelong friends. So it's night before the Orlando Mastermind Workshop. I'm actually gonna go out and have dinner with, with uh, one guy that uh, is actually fairly new to trading and he wanted to just get the chance to catch up a little bit so that he can kind of hit the ground running when, when we start tomorrow morning. So I'm excited to meet the guy. Th this is the kind of thing I was saying before. When you do these online courses, as great as they are, the, the in-person meetups, the, the, you, you go up the learning curve so much quicker. So that's why we're doing this whole Mastermind Workshop deal and I'm very excited for it. So I'm just doing some last minute preparations for tomorrow's workshop. Basically what we're gonna to try to do is on day one is we're gonna be mostly focusing on the introduction to what it takes to be a good trader, the technical analysis parts, the risk management, options, stocks, five minute success formula, the multi-time from analysis and on and on and on. And then on the second day, the plan is to have all the workshop attendees create their own trading plan, realistically writing down what their time availability is every single day, which is very, very important every single day and every single week. Everyone's got a different schedule. So that's gonna be another thing we'll be focusing on on this in the second day. We'll be going through things like my beat to reversal indicator, scanning the stock market for getting a routine. So, so day number one is gonna be focusing sort of pure education and then day number two is going to be focusing on creating their trading plan learning how to scan for stocks making their routine so that when they've finished here when they're finished here in two days from now they are going to be able to walk away and start having a routine which they uh, and with which they can be comfortable to start being active investors and traders and that's the whole goal is to get people to the point where their process becomes nothing more than a process they don't have to think about it at all they just they just get up do some research uh, go on with their day check in the market here and there and then just execute trades as they come available throughout the week and the month you know that's that's the whole goal so i'll see you in the morning
right, so it's the Orlando uh, workshop day number one. The room downstairs is prepared. Everything's good. Let's do this. What about these two crazy traders? What, you, what stock are we looking at here? Uh, Netflix. Netflix. Trying to figure out what to do with it. <laughs> so what are we looking from a multi-time for perspective? So did you zoom in, I guess, from, I guess you're going, so now you're looking at the options play, what could, which option strikes and so on and so forth? Yes, exactly. Right, right. We're looking and, at selling out of the money calls. Okay, so that's a little bit more of an income perspective. Right, mm -hmm. which that works out really good. That's right. like a 28% return. And what's the implied volatility on the, on the stock right now? Like an earnings. Right. They have earnings right. before right. the expiration. So we're just having lunch. Uh, morning session went well. Did you guys like it so far? Everyone's out, by the way. It's more than two people. <laughs> or four <laughs> people. <laughs> Excellent Every choice, good sir. so far. Yeah, apparently the food has been good as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Weather. Charles. Great. Everything's good. A lot of good information in the morning. So. Exactly. So so this morning we covered um, a lot of stuff, <laughs> and this high afternoon high a lot of high probability stuff. And this afternoon we're gonna go a little bit deeper. We have noticed is that uh, Amazon um, is <clears throat> in an uptrend. But so far, it has been, I would say, since uh, November. Right, right. In trying to find the big trend, mm -hmm. and we're narrowing in, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, to give us perspective for the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But what I think you could do... There's a setup here. And it's not even the consensus. Yes. Cool. Yeah. 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 Oh, here we go. 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 Here we So we had a great first day, a lot of learning. Uh, the guys are hungry and ready for a drink and some food, so we're going to this uh, this place called Magiano's Little Italy. Oh, all the food is coming. Does it look pretty good? <laughs> oh, I got the baby plate. Oh. Alright guys, enjoy! Thank you. So what was your favorite thing for day one? Well, believe it or not, the most simplest of things was my reintroduction to moving averages. Believe it or not, I, it's such a simple thing that I took it for granted, right? right. And, and I kind of misplaced the importance of it because it was so simple. Right. And um, it actually had a pretty big connection to, to some of the flaws in my trading right that you know just that little reaffirmation something I totally overlooked yeah. so kind of so, using moving averages also like for risk management and kind of just yeah placing your like stuff. how to right. how to continue a right. profitable trade right. and where to exit you know those little simple things yeah. I just kind of overlooked yeah. it because right. it was because it was so simplistic well that it doesn't have to be complicated but we do have to have a few things that we yeah, keep in and, mind every and, single day and just being reminded of it and right. seeing it in, the, in right. the charts and being talking about it and it's something that you don't normally talk about all the time right. because it's right. so such it's a, just there. in terms of in terms of having like a physical meetup as opposed to doing the online stuff it was yes. just more personal yes. and you can yes. get you can get yes. to the questions more obviously Abs absolutely right. it, it definitely sunk in right right because you know you're there and you're and you're 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 grasping for information right. because of all the wherewithal to get there that you place a, a lot more importance yeah. on it sure yep well, there, you heard it you heard it there it is thank you so much yeah session the guys are constructing their trading plan so I don't want to interrupt them too much but um, have a look at this studious bunch the XLU 
XLY. Right, you can put, yeah, exactly. And um, the XLE and the XLB. So what, what that does is it gives us an overview of, of just the equity market, okay? So now there's another one though, another list that I think is important to have a, a, a better picture of also, um, you know, sort of cross asset view, which I think is something that Josh wanted to talk about as well. All right, so Brian, what was your favorite thing? How did you enjoy the, the mastermind session so far? Well, I thought it was a great session. I enjoyed getting to know other club members and learning their style, you know, how they trade and, right. and uh, really took away a lot of good things to build back into my trading practice. Right, right, exactly. And so did you feel that the, the experience of, of meeting, being in person with someone, was was it was a different experience than doing the online part, oh right? definitely right. it's good to put a face to a, right. a voice and right. and also you know just kind of hear what they go through and right. their successes to build you know into my practice sure being yeah. able being able to connect and seeing other people sort of having the same struggles right than, than you so. yeah you're not alone exactly you know you're not alone <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing when you sit when you sit alone and you're trading it's like you don't really you kind of disconnect from it all right and it's hard to you kind of think you're the only one that makes those right. mistakes and then you find out, oh, okay, I'm not the only one doing exactly, that. So exactly, exactly. It's so. very encouraging. So not only did we cover a lot of stuff, but it was also a good team building, meeting other Absolutely. other traders, a good community. Absolutely. And you always hear a lot of the different different strategies. We, we, we built a trading plan today uh, with everyone. And, uh, and, uh, and so I think everyone should be. Well, for two quick days, you really walk away with a lot of good tools and, um, and things you can use going forward. Right. Perfect. Well, thank you, Brian. Thanks oh, so thank you. I Thanks for, for having it in Orlando. Yeah, and, and look at the weather here, by the way. This is uh, This is perfect. We're and, in the shade. And, and it, is, it is, what is it, early February? Yes, yeah, <laughs> early February, and it's 80 degrees. Exactly. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. So it's uh, Tuesday afternoon, the second day of the Leonard Workshop. I'm about to pass out the certificates of completion. I think the guys did a great job. I think they, uh, they learned a ton. They had a great time. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing them progress over uh, over the next uh, weeks, months, and years. The, the the main thing we have to keep in mind when it comes to when these are like little you know nicely um, use them with the existing longer term positions or even intermediate term positions, right? If you let's say you're bullish at Facebook, for example, instead of doubling down and buying, you know, he generates more income with that. This is the stock that you just bought. And I believe the credit spread you put on is about here. And the stock is now here. It's not a bad trade. Live. And that gap, which is, which is more below the gap. So there's a tendency. Okay, so we just wrapped up our uh, two-day workshop here in Orlando. This is my friend Sebastian. <laughs> we wanted to ask him as well, like we did some others, how they, uh, how he enjoyed the course, what he learned from it. So, Sebastian, what was the first thing that you took away from? from I this? think that the main point here is uh, how you can uh, feed your lifestyle with the trading part. And for me, it's the most important thing that with the tools that you, we talk about, the knowledge that you transfer, and uh, um, the planning that we did with the trading plan, I think it's possible that uh, you can fit the trading into your Right, exactly. Your so, so filling trading into your current lifestyle as opposed to uh, having to change your entire <laughs> life for trading, which is, it's, that, that would be hard. It's hard. That's, That's hard really, to do. Yeah. yeah. And it has to do with the kind of the rhythm that you have, the style that you have. Um, you know, everyone's got a different lifestyle, yeah, so I mean, you have to be we, able to. We took the time to everyone told what is the the time that they have available every day, so that's... Uh, exactly, yeah, so we, we, we made a trading plan for everyone, see everyone's gone now, everyone's filtered out, everyone's back in the air. Um, the room was full. The room was full, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, but yeah, so so we, we made a trading plan for everyone, everyone sort of told us their story, what, what their time availability is, what kind of trade they prefer to do, really tailor-made uh, a trading plan for, for, for every single one. And, and again, it's, it's to Sebastian's point, it, it, the whole point is to be able to fit trading into your current life and make some make additional uh, money with it or ultimately, of course, it, it can become your main profession, but it does take time. So there's no reason to, to, uh, to get overly anxious about it and, and you know, promise uh, things that, that, uh, that, uh, that ultimately, of course, take time. They don't, doesn't happen overnight. Yeah. yeah. So, so and how about how did you like 
it's sort of the physical, the in-person meet. I mean, did it, was it helpful to meet yeah, other it, people it in was, person? The networking was great. I mean, yeah. uh, and, uh, let's see that you are not alone. Right, you're not you're not alone. <laughs> that's that's and everyone has said that. Everyone we talked to here uh, for the camera, everyone said that it's nice to know that you're not alone. Everyone's going through the same the same struggles, same right? Process. It's it's we're all human. We all more or less uh, you know have the same emotionals we have to deal with and. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, but it is very reasonable and possible to make this happen as long as you have a plan, right? So, so that's the whole point. So uh, thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. I appreciate and it, man. We'd like to invite the uh, Hispanic Latino uh, community also showing yes, you. Yes, that would be great if we, could, if we can expand this to some more, the Latino community. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that trade in there. We've got, we've got some clients already. So Sebastian would be our man. <laughs> <laughs>so uh, yesterday afternoon we wrapped up our first two-day uh, mastermind workshop the steady trader workshop we're gonna be doing this all over the place the guys did great one of the topics that we we covered yesterday and uh, that really uh, helped the guys a lot was sort of this this notion that is seems to be out there that all you need to use is you know a moving average or some sort of an indicator to uh, to make money in the stock market and uh, obviously it takes more than that so one of the things that is really important to understand that it really has to do with a confluence of things coming together uh, that sets up good and high probability trade all right so i just finished off the workshop down in orlando florida i am in transit here in newark uh, over to europe where we're going to do trading in the alps we rented out a chalet